Hi, today we're going to talk about observation, prediction, and inference. What are those and how to use them? Observation. Observation is the process of using one or more of your senses to gather information. So you can see by these pictures are some examples of how people or creatures in this case use their senses to obtain information. The little boy tasted a lemon and you could see that it was pretty sour. The other little boy was listening for sounds and the man is smelling the perfume to see what it smells like. And the owl there looks like it's looking out. He looks kind of mad, doesn't he? He's looking at the things around him. And the person is touching the water to see what will happen. Don't forget that there are both quantitative observations, which means you're observing amounts, which, for example, would be there are three people on this picture, or the man is using four of his five fingers to touch the water. Also, there are quantitative observations, which is using description words, like it sounded like a train was going by, or it felt really smooth, or it tasted really sour. Prediction. Prediction is the process of forecasting what will happen in the future based on past experiences or evidences. For example, if you wanted to know what the weather was going to be, you would look at weather data from a few days before the day that you want to predict. Just like the picture down there in the bottom talks about Star Trek predicting the future since 1966. So Star Trek creators looked at things that were uh, going to happen in the future and then they put those in their show. Whenever you want to predict something, you're always going to ask what is going to happen next. That means what's going to happen in the future. Inferring. Inferring is an interpretation based on observation and prior knowledge. What does that mean? That means asking why or how something happened. And that's when you look at something and you say, how did that happen? Well, there's a cat there and there's a broken vase down on the floor. So I'm guessing that the cat probably knocked it off. All right, so now I think we're going to try some practice. On your own, write a prediction and an inference for each cartoon. Remember to ask yourself why something happened or how it happened and what's going to happen next. Your answers may not be the same as mine and that's okay. So please write down your own answers first and then you can see what I wrote. So let's start. Prediction what will happen next so if you look at the rockets you could have all kinds of different answers like well the rockets gonna crash because it's a money shape or maybe it looks like from the picture that the scientists are trying to decide what is they're going to do with it so you could have any kind of answer down there for that like for example this rocket will crash because it's not straight so it's probably not going to go the where they want it to. Okay, so the inference then is you're going to ask why did that happen? So why do you think the rocket's going to crash? Or why do you think it looks the way it did? And I'm going to say that I'm going to give you a minute here for you to figure something out or write something down. Okay, I'm going to write that the scientists did not make good calculations because you can see back here in the drawing that they had instructions, so maybe when they were measuring, they didn't measure right. You could have wrote that they didn't follow the directions, or maybe you could write that they weren't really scientists, or they didn't know how to build a rocket. All of those inferences would be acceptable. All right, let's do another one together. Okay, so... 
again, first you have to observe, which means to look at the entire cartoon and see what's happening. It says, come on, Dad, shoot the apple, shoot the apple. And down at the bottom it says, unknown to most historians, William Tell had an older and less fortunate son named Warren. So, my prediction, since we're trying to say that William uh, Tell's brother is not around anymore, my prediction would be, what? you got to ask what's going to happen. Okay, so write what you think is going to happen down on the line there. I think Warren is going to get hit with the arrow. Poor Warren. All right, so next we have to ask, why did that happen? Why do we think that Warren is going to get hit with the apple? Make sure you're writing something down. All right, so because of the caption underneath the cartoon, I am going to say that the reason why Warren is getting hit with the arrow is because Warren's dad is not a very skilled archer. All right, let's try another one. This time I'm not gonna ask the questions, but I want you to think about what's gonna happen next, that's the prediction, and what's the inference? Why did that happen? Or how could we come up with that answer? Okay, so start with looking at the cartoon and then think about what's going to happen next. If you're not sure what that thing is that the cowboy is holding, that's called a brand. And cowboys use that to um, show who owns the animal. And usually it's not quite that big. Okay, so make sure that you write down a prediction. All right, so my prediction was that the cows will be branded. So they will put that, they will put this big thing here in the fire and it gets really hot and then they push it on to the side of the cow and then this, all these words right here will be on the side of the cow. And so why would anybody do that? Why do farmers brand their cows? That is the inference. Why is this gonna happen? You can't actually see it happening in a picture, but we're going to assume that that's gonna happen and we're gonna say why. Make sure you write something down about why that's going to happen. Okay, we're going to say that the farmer is afraid his cows will be stolen by someone else. So that way he can put his information on the cows and hopefully nobody will take it them. All right, one more. I think this is the last one too. Okay, so here it is. You can see there's a bunch of scientists working. It looks like this guy right here, he's got something, and maybe he's going to put it on this guy right here. And Or maybe he already did because he's making a face. He's like, ah! <laughs> okay, and it says, Professor Glickman, the lab practical joker, deftly places a single drop of hydrochloric acid on the back of Professor Bingham's neck. Now, if you don't know what hydrochloric acid is, it's one of the strongest acids out there, and it would burn pretty much burn a hole through that guy's skin. So our prediction is that this scientist is going to be experimented on. That's my prediction. And so the inference would be why. Why would this guy be experimenting on that guy? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I wrote because the second scientist wants to see what will happen. That wasn't very nice, but he probably just wanted to test it out and see what was going to happen. Okay, 
So there you go. That's everything you need to know about predicting and inferring. There's a worksheet for you to do, so make sure you get it done. It's in the drawer. Thanks. The end. The observation. Oh, I see some words on the screen. Prediction. There aren't any more slides. How can I predict that? Or why am I predicting that? Because there aren't any more notes or practice pictures. And why? Because we know it all and we don't need to any more practice. Haha. <laughs> so there. Have a great day.